Hello students, in this video let us try to understand how SERS can be compared. Our topic is comparison of SERS. In the earlier video we have studied what are the SERS and how can we identify whether the given number is a SERD or not. In this video we are going to learn how to compare two given SERDs. Suppose there are two SERDs given 6 root 5 and 5 root 3. Now these are the two SERDs. We cannot compare these two numbers as we can compare any other two numbers of various types that is either integers or rational numbers. For this purpose we need to transform these numbers into pure SERDs. Let us see how two SERDs can be compared. For that one let us have one problem. Compare the following pair of SERDs. The first is 7 root 2 and 5 root 3. Now if you compare these two SERDs, these two SERDs are in mixed form. That means root 2 is a SERD and it is multiplied by 7 in the first SERD and for the second SERD root 3 is multiplied by 5. So first of all we have to move these two numbers 7 and 5 into the square root signs. So let us consider these two SERDs 7 root 2 and 5 root 3. If we have to take 7 into the square root sign we should take its square as the order of the third is 2. So we have to make a square of 7. So 7 can be written as root 49 into root 2. In the same way, 5 can be written as root 25 into root 3 as it is. Now as for these two thirds, orders are same, we can multiply these two radicands so as to have under root 49 into 2 that's 98 and for the second one under root 25 into 3 that's 75. Now as we can see these two thirds are in pure form they have their orders same. Now we can compare two radicands that is 98 and 75. If we can compare these two we can obviously see 98 is greater than 75 that's why square root of 98 is also greater than square root of 75 and square root of 98 represents 7 root 2 and square root of 75 represents 5 root 3 that's why 7 root 2 is greater than 5 root 3 so this is how we can compare any two thirds let us have the second example 2 root 7 and square root of 28 for these two thirds we have to convert only the first third in the pure form that is 2 root 7 and the second third is root 28. We need not to convert the second third in pure form as it is already in pure form. If we have to transfer 2 into the square root sign we should write 2 as root 4 because square root of 4 is 2. So 2 can be also written as square root of 4 into root 7. So root 4 into root 7 that should be root 28 and the second third root 28 as it is. Now for these two thirds orders are equal so we can compare radicands only. The radicands are 28 and 28. So we have the relation between these two 28 is equal to 28 that's why root 28 must be equal to root 28. That is root 28 which represents the first third 2 root 7 which is equal to root 28. Now let us have another example under root 247 and under root 274. In the same way for these two thirds they are in pure form only we have to compare the radicands as the orders of these two thirds are equal. So in between 247 and 274 247 is less than 274 that's why square root of 247 must be also less than square root of 274. So this is how we can compare any two given search by using this technique. I hope you understand this concept. Thanks for watching.